Do you ever find yourself trapped in a never-ending cycle of debt, unable to resist that allure of lavish lifestyles that probably are beyond your means? If so, don't worry, you're not alone. Many people today are living on the edge, in fact, teetering on the edge of financial ruin. Today, I'm going to help you make some decisions that will transform your future. Stay tuned. Welcome to We're Talking Money. I'm Phil Clark, wealth advisor and founder of OmniStar Financial Group. And today I'm delving into the detrimental effects of spending more than you earn. Now, I'm not here to tell you what you can or cannot spend, but you deserve to know the consequences of unsustainable financial habits. They get people in trouble every year. Knowing how to identify these bad habits is what today's show is all about and some actionable solutions to help you break free from this cycle. Imagine this, flashy cars, luxurious vacations, designer clothes, it all seems very tempting, doesn't it? But beneath the surface, is a harsh reality. Spending more than your income can seem harmless in the beginning. And after all, it does bring a certain amount of gratification. The reality, however, is anything but gratifying. Now, living beyond your means, it's like dancing on a tightrope, you might say. One wrong move, and you could fall into a never-ending financial struggle. Maybe even financial ruin. Now, developing these habits usually starts with small purchases here and there. You don't even notice that it's happening. But before you know it, your expenses, they can spiral out of control. And once you're in the habit of buying, the pleasure of this act can be addicting. And if you don't have the cash for that next purchase, well, another bad habit can be forming, and that is learning to live on credit. Credit cards lead to more spending. In particular, they can encourage what I call impulse buying. This is a major contributor to overspending. In fact, it's one of the worst parts of overspending. It's easy to get caught up in the thrill of acquiring new things, often disregarding your financial limitations. The cost of interest on the credit card and the fact that every purchase will certainly lose value, all of these things lead to great disappointment. And it's a temporary satisfaction that quickly turns into long-term consequences. Now, increasing debt is not universally bad, so please don't get me wrong when I say that you should not have debt uh, it's certain types of debt that I'm talking about, mainly credit card debt. But some debt on appreciating assets, well, that can be a good thing. But spending for the sake of satisfying the urge to make a purchase, that can create a dark cloud that is capable of delivering some major financial storms. With each swipe of that credit card, by the way, the pile of debt it just gets exponentially larger, potentially suffocating your financial well-being. That's a mistake that you don't want to make. The stress and anxiety brought on by overspending can also disrupt your mental and emotional well-being. You can find yourself constantly worrying about how to make ends meet, and that can take a toll on your overall happiness and peace of mind. The constant worry and even sleepless nights and strained relationships, none of that creates a better person. Remember, we talked about these very things in one of our videos not too long ago. It was a video on newlyweds and some of the common mistakes they make. When you're talking about your finances, they are certainly one of the things that can lead to divorce. In fact, we said in that video that financial turmoil is one of the leading causes 
of divorce. Now, so far, everything I've said is depressing, right? Don't despair. There is a way out, and I'm going to share some of those things with you. It starts with understanding your financial situation, and yours is different from anyone else. So it begins with your financial situation and making a commitment to change. The first step is acknowledging that you have a spending problem. Now, you can start by cutting on unnecessary expenses and creating a realistic budget. Those are great steps to regaining control over your finances. Believe me when I tell you, budget is not a bad word. It's a great tool that can help you stay in the right lane when it comes to your finances. So next, I want to get you in the habit of always asking yourself a question before you make a purchase. Is this required or desired? If it's required, well, you probably need to make that purchase. On the other hand, if it is desired, do a couple of things first. Check your budget. Have you covered your required expenses? Have you saved towards your retirement or simply saved into your rainy day fund? If you've done all these things, the next question is, can you afford this expense without the use of credit? And if you answered yes to these, it's likely that this purchase probably won't derail your financial success. So proceed. Buy whatever it is that you want to buy. But if you can't answer yes to those questions, you might want to pause. Use the 24 to 48 hour rule. Chances are, by the end of that period, that purchase will be long out of your memory and you will forget that it was something you wanted in the first place. Living within your means is not as difficult as you think. Building good habits, it won't take long, and they are necessary to relieve financial pressures. Plus, you'll be working towards a secure future. It's all about making conscious choices and prioritizing your long-term financial goals over short-term gratification. Remember, it's never too late to turn things around. Take control of your financial destiny. Stop living beyond your means. If you're not someone who lives beyond your means, congratulations. You already have it under control, and you're well on your way to financial fitness and a great financially successful future. Your future self will thank the ones of you who are habitual spenders. Once you get it under control, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching this episode of We're Talking Money. I hope it's inspiring you to consider the power of developing great financial habits when it comes to overspending. If you found this information helpful, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights and information on growing and protecting your wealth. Be sure to like, share, and ring that bell so you never miss a great episode. I'll see you next time on We're Talking Money. Thanks for joining us on We're Talking Money. Be sure to visit us at OmniStarFinancial.com where you can learn more about how we provide value to our clients. Subscribe to the show and our newsletters and drop us a line with topic suggestions for upcoming shows. If you enjoyed the show, we would appreciate you passing it on to a friend and providing a rating on iTunes. This podcast is a publication of OmniStar Financial Group. The content is developed from sources believed to be reliable and accurate with all information. The information in this material is not intended as tax or legal advice and may not be used for the purpose of avoiding any federal tax penalties. Please consult legal or tax professionals for specific information regarding your individual situation. The opinions expressed and material provided are for general information and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security or service provided by Omnistar. All expressions of opinion reflect that of the authors and are subject to change. Any distribution, use, or copying of this podcast, other than the intended recipients, is prohibited.